Good morning. Thank you for watching. Got a beautiful Lord's Day. A little bit chilly out here this morning. My son's complaining. So, <laughs> but, uh, it's still a beautiful day though. Uh, we'll get on our sick list here. We got Lisa Simon, Nikki Alonzo, Brenda Elkins, Kathy Blair, Daphne Anderson, Ken Jones, Mary Mason, Hillary Davenport, Jimmy Mingle, Terry Parham, Benny Blair, Kathy Smith, Alice Davis, Corey Davenport, Lamar Sism, uh, Faye Ferguson, uh, and Colleen Fair, Fair, Farless. Sorry about that. Carl, Colleen Far, Farless. Uh, we're sending sympathy to her. She, uh, uh, her family, she passed away. Uh, another uh, friend of mine, Craig Davis, uh, his mom is, uh, she's an elderly lady and uh, she's, uh, she's been pretty sick. So please keep her in your prayers too. Uh, this morning, uh, well, you know, we're coming up on this week. It's going to be the Thanksgiving week. Uh, and I always say, you know, we shouldn't have just one day that we give thanks. We need to give thanks every day for all the blessings that God provides us and all the good things he gives us uh, in the beautiful world that we live in. Uh, this morning, uh, I got to thinking the other day about uh, my cup runneth over. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about all the blessings that you have? Uh, you know, sometimes we sing a song at church that's count your many blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. And uh, that's a beautiful song, and it makes you think about all the good things that you have, uh, about being thankful for what God's given you. Uh, be thankful for, for your family and friends and loved ones and and, you, and your job and everything that, that's involved uh, in your world. Uh, so I got to thinking about that and it, you know, your, my cup runneth over. So that made, makes me want to go back and uh, we'll read a little bit here about the 23rd Psalm. That's one of my favorite parts. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to read a little bit of introduction here. Uh, the Shepherd's Psalm, when we consider the beautiful and enduring 23rd Psalm, we find a literary gem unsurpassed. Uh, first learned by little children at the mother's knee, it becomes dearer still to aged saints and, and approaching uh, the valley of the shadow. In time of sorrow, discouragement, and apprehension, perhaps more comfort has been derived from this pastoral hymn than any other. Its imagery is so vivid, its metaphors so simple, and its lessons so plain that it's been endured to the hearts of generations and people of all ages and races. It's truth so evident that it has stood the test of time. Uh, I'm gonna share this with you, uh, the 23rd Psalm. It says, under God's guidance and protection, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. That's such a fitting thing for Thanksgiving now that, that we would think about uh, all the the blessings that God has given us. And I've got a thing here that uh, talks about praying the 23rd Psalm, turning it into a prayer. Uh, because thou art my shepherd, I commit my needs to thee. Provide green pastures for me to lie in. Lead me beside still waters. Restore my soul when I am empty. Lead me in the paths uh, for your name's sake. Be with me in danger when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Deliver me from evil. Protect me 
with your rod and your staff. Prepare a table to feed me so my enemies can see your provision. Anoint me with the oil of your healing. Let me drink from the cup of your, of your provision. Surely goodness and mercy will always follow me and I will live with you forever. Amen. You know, one thing that the greatest thing besides all the stuff that the Lord's blessed us with that our physical needs here on earth uh, we uh, should be very much thankful for the blessing of salvation we should be thankful that Jesus Christ came to this earth and suffered and died on the cross for the remission of our sin we should be thankful so much that God has made us a way that we can get to heaven and we should be taking advantage of that so this Thanksgiving week uh, I've got a challenge for everybody um, and my challenge is since we are so blessed and my cup runneth over and I'm sure yours does too let's let's go somewhere and find somebody find find a person or persons that you can do something good for uh that's my challenge to you this week it, it, and your cup runneth over provide something do something nice for somebody that you would normally not do and that way you're laying up treasures in heaven and god will be very much pleased with that that's the end of my lesson for today thank you so much for uh for being here and watching us and uh we would like to pray for our servicemen and women, our first responders, and please uh, pray for our, our doctors and nurses. And You know, there's a lot of people that's sick right now. Uh, I'm hearing there's a lot of viruses and stuff going around, and a lot of people just don't feel good. Uh, please say an extra prayer for them. Um, and uh, so have a nice week, nice Thanksgiving week. Please be careful out there because there's a lot of, uh, you know, there'll be a lot of traffic and, and uh, some folks can't drive very well. So be careful, watch out, uh, have a good Thanksgiving. And remember, my challenge is find, find someone or somebody or multiple people and do something good for them. God will bless you for that. Thank you very much. See you next time.